want it better than the weekend, weekend Take it back to what we said, just friends Don't wanna tell you something new I never said I'll fall for you I want it better than the weekend You can't show me just what I'm missing Pretend Don't wanna tell you something new I never said I'll fall for you We don't gotta fix it Good morning, my loves Welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video you might have already seen that we are doing a new look haul. Now as you know I absolutely love a haul and today is a slightly special one. Special one or sad one I'm not quite sure but this is my last one before I go back to work after being off for a whole year on maternity leave. I can't believe I'm saying that out loud. It makes me it makes me so emotional, but it also makes me really sad because I can't believe how quickly a year has gone and now I am going back to work. But on that note, I thought today I could do a little turning to work slash casual business attire haul because I haven't really seen many of those around and New Look have some amazing pieces in at the moment. Now, as you can probably see behind me, the theme at the moment, or should I say on-trend colours, are very much your greys, your blacks, your whites, and your geometrics. So I've got a mixture behind me, which I'm going to share with you shortly. But I just wanted to say as well, with me being five foot two, <laughs> and just, I say just having a baby, having had a baby a year ago, my figure is a lot different, so I don't even know if some of these outfits are going to fit me. So this could be quite interesting, to say the least. But before I even get started, I've got a few staples that I wanted to show you first of all. One of them being these pointed heeled blacked shoes. Now, as I said, I'm five foot two, so sometimes it's really hard for me to look taller than I am however these shoes here elongate your leg so because of the point at the end of the foot it makes your leg look a lot longer than they actually are so if you are similar similar height to me and you want to look a little bit taller I would definitely recommend some of these pointed shoes these ones were from Primark and they were I think they were like 15 pounds I did get them a while ago now but you can get these anywhere but I definitely recommend investing in a pair of these and actually heel isn't that high on them either so yeah if you're like me as well and you struggle in really high heels now I can't I don't know how I used to go out in those like six inch heels I don't know how I used to do it but I think these are about three um so yeah I definitely invest in a pair of those also I'm going to be using these 15 denier tights now if like me you don't want the really thick tights then 15 denier or just above are the perfect color match so i would definitely recommend again getting some of the 15 denier these ones were from new look and they were 5.99 for a pack of three and then finally a little black handbag so again i'm just going to be using my kate spade one that i've had for absolute years this has lasted me so long but it's perfect because it's not too big and it's not too small i can't put too much inside it where i lose everything but also i've got enough space to put exactly what i need in there so yeah i'm going to be using this as well as one of my staples so for any of these outfits all three of those items will work perfectly with them so I just wanted to quickly share those with you before I got into the haul. So guys, let's get started. I'm so excited to share these with you. So, as I said, I've got quite a few items here, most of which are either grey, black, white, or as I said, a little geometric number, which is very much in fashion at the moment. Now, I'm going to start off with this little mini skirt here. Purely because I don't I don't think this is going to fit me and I just want to get that out of the way. But this is $22.99 and as you can see it's got this really lovely grey and white pattern on it. So I'm going to give this a go with this black roller neck jumper here. Now this I've had again for a couple of years now and I'm literally going to pair them together like this. What I'll do is I'm going to link all of these items down below for you. The ones that I haven't got from New Look, I'll find a similar one and I'll link those too. But yeah, I'm going to pop these on together. I'm going to obviously, I'm going to then grab my 15 denier tights and 
my little heel shoes and pop them together and see what we think. But yeah, I because I'm in between sizes at the moment, I'm not I'm never gonna be back to my pre-baby body and I've completely kind of succumbed to that now, that's fine. But I just I don't know. I think I, sh I probably should have gone up in a size in this. But let's have a look and let's see what it looks like. We can take it back to when we said just friends. I don't want to tell you something new. I never said I fought for you. I want it better than the weekend. You can show me just what I'm missing. Pretend. I don't want to tell you something new. I never said I fought for you. We don't gotta fix it. Nothing that I'm missing. I don't know if we went wrong. Shouldn't have to take this long. Wasting my days away wishing we fall through and I told you So here is outfit number one and I really like the style of it. I really like the fact that the polar neck goes with the skirt really nicely and it goes perfectly with the Jenny Jenny Air tights as well, which I knew it would. But all of my fears regarding the size of this skirt were true. So this is way too small for me, this is way too tight up, there's no point in even lying about it. I feel really self-conscious around my belly area and my hips. You know when something just clings to your hips and you just feel really, really uncomfortable? So I would have definitely sized up and gone up to the next size because I don't even think I'd be able to sit down at this, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say possibly size up if you don't like things to be too tight and cling to you too much. But the actual style of the skirt, I really, really like. I really like the pattern on it too. And did you see with the shoes how it elongated my legs ridiculously? Oh, I just love it so much. So yeah, the actual outfit is really lovely. See as well, I just paired it with my little Kate Spade bag and all together it just goes really, really nicely. And I just think it's a really nice, easy, simple, stylish outfit for work. So let me know what you think about this one. That's the first one. I'm now going to move on to my second option, which I'm not going to lie, I'm really nervous about. Now, I'm going to, no, do you know what? I'm, I'm not. I've changed my mind. I'm going to go for this dress here. So I absolutely love this dress. It's a plain black dress, I know, but it's got this really gorgeous button detailing. I'll just show you one here. This is $35.99 and it's got this really gorgeous button detailing. Now, this is a very, 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 very long dress, but I really, really like it. So I'm going to give this a whirl now too and see how this looks. But this is definitely my kind of style. I really, really love this style. And I like the fact that it's got a low v-neck as well, purely because, again, with me... If I have anything too, this is okay, this roll neck, but if I have anything too high up, it obviously cuts off my neck and then I just feel like my face looks really round. So I really like the fact that it's got this V neck too. So we'll give this one a go next. I knew I would love it. I knew I would love it. And I do. I absolutely love this dress. I love the length. I love the style. I love the fit. I love this dress. So, for me personally, I think I'd have to wear some spanks with it. I know, I can't believe I'm saying that. But, again, since having a baby, I have a lot more lumps and bumps, shall we say, that I'm a little bit, I don't want to say insecure about, but it's just getting used to kind of my new mum bod. I hate that phrase, but it's true, isn't it? So I probably would wear a couple of spanks. A couple of spanks? No, I'd wear a pair of spanks with this outfit just to, you know, smooth some of those lumps and bumps over. But I absolutely love it. Now I wasn't sure whether to pair it with the tights or not. I didn't I didn't know, but I did and I, I really like it. I think it looks a bit more wintry wearing it with the 15 denier tights. So yeah, you could either wear the dress with or without the tights it's completely up to you whatever you prefer but i like it with the tights and do you see what i mean about not having them too dark you still get some of that skin tone underneath which makes it look quite elegant but it's not too dark where it just melts into the rest of the outfit so yeah i really really like this i definitely recommend this it doesn't feel too restrictive either and too clingy which is really nice i just think for me personally because it is 
a really lovely fitted dress, I would probably wear a pair of Spanx with it, just to make you feel that little bit more confident. Okay, so sticking with the dress theme then, I've gone for this very out there for me, geometric dress. Now this was £20, as you can see there, and again, this isn't something that I would usually go for, but it's very much in style at the moment, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to give it a go. And this actually comes in two lengths, so I've got this in the mid length, but it also comes in a long length as well, which I think would look really elegant, but for me, as I keep saying, because of my height, I think it would just kind of drown me a little bit. So I've gone for the more mid length dress, and it comes with this little belt as well, which is quite nice. So I'm going to pop this on. I think I'm going to keep the tights on. I think I will keep the tights on. Do you know what? I'll try it with both and then I'll see which one I prefer. But yeah, so I'm going to go for this little geometric set here. Set? Dress here. Like I said, it's only, it's only £20, which isn't bad. And see what this looks like. But this is, this is not really me. I'm not really a pattern, as you can see. <laughs> I'm not really a patterns person. So it'll be interesting to see what this looks like on me. But we'll give it a go and we'll see what we think. I shine so bright, you might go blind. with the tights and with the shoes but I just it's very office isn't it let's be honest it is very business attire and I think it'd be really nice for a business meeting I just don't just don't know if it's me I don't know if it's me so yeah let me know in the comments down below what you guys think right so final few outfits now then so the next one I'm gonna do again this is very iffy for me because I'm not not really a satiny gal I don't really wear skirts you'll know if you've seen any of my other hauls I don't wear skirts I don't mind a dress but there's something about skirts especially like big floaty ones like this they're just not really me but again they are very much on trend so I've bought this satin skirt here this was how much was this um oh it doesn't say Okay, I'll pop it in the link down below, but I think it was probably around about 20-ish pounds, I think. Um, this is quite a long length. It'll probably go down to around, probably just above my ankles, to be honest with you. But I'm going to pop this with this grey jumper as well. This jumper feels lovely, by the way. I'm going to pop them together like this. This jumper was, is this going to have a price on it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this jumper is £15. I don't know if you can see that there, but yeah, this jumper is £15. So I'm just going to pair these together. So this is kind of like a, a smart, casual look, I would say, for work. If you don't want to dress up too much, but you still want to add a little bit of style to your work outfit. So I'm going to try these on together now and see what these look like. But, mmm, satin, I'm not sure. Better than the weekend, weekend. Take a back to when we said just friends. I wanna tell you something no I never said I for you. Um if this isn't an epic fail, then I don't know what it is. Guys, it looks awful on 
on me. It really... I really wanted to go for something like really nice and stylish, but no, just no. So I like the jumper, the jumper's lovely. And I really like the feel of the skirt, but it just doesn't suit me guys. It just, it does not suit me at all. I, I can't put my finger on what it is. I've had to roll it up five times because it was so long of me. And yeah, I don't, maybe it's not as bad as I think. Maybe it's because it's not what I'm used to, but I just, it's just not, it's just not working for me. And I'm really gutted because it's so fashionable and it looks amazing on so many people, but it just, I can't put my finger on what it is that I don't like, but there's just something about it that I just, I keep looking at it again in the mirror, like the geometric dress. And there's just something I can't figure out what I don't like about it, but it's just oh, such a shame because I really, really like it as well. And I like the feel of the dress and the style of the dress dress <sighs> skirt style of the skirt but yeah I just, no 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 <laughs> final outfit then i've got these gray trousers here so these are wide leg trousers and they're a bit tailored at the top these were how much were these 27.99 and then I could not get a normal fitted cotton shirt anywhere on the New Look website. So I actually went to M&S and I got this one here, um, which I thought was really nice. And this was £15. £15 for this just plain white shirt, basically. But I wanted one that was kind of more fitted. I think I may need to size down on this, but again, I'll see how it goes. But I'm going to tie this in with the grey trousers and see what I think. You could probably, to be honest with you, wear, if you wanted to be a little bit warmer, wear either a cardigan, like a short cardigan, or a v-neck jumper. That would look really nice, actually. Um, but yeah, I haven't styled it with that today. I've just gone for kind of quite simple and easy outfits. But yeah, that could work really well together as well. So I'm going to pop these two on now and see what they look like. I shine so bright, you might go blind, blind, blind. When I walk through the closing blinds. Guys, so what do we think? Now, weirdly enough, I quite like the trousers. They are very wide leg, and they're not really my normal kind of style, but obviously I'm trying in at the moment and new trends, and this is very much on trend at the moment. I do actually think it's quite flattering, apart from the top. I don't know if you can see here. I don't know if I'd need, well, no, I wouldn't need a smaller size because there isn't much room at the top, but they're just a bit, a bit baggy here. I don't know if you can see that or not. They're a bit balloony. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You know, when they're just like a bit baggy at the front. But I do really like the style of the trousers. And actually, for the length, as I said, I'm five foot two, they're just touching the floor. So, may need to have them taken up just a little bit, but they're not stupidly long on me, which is really handy. I could get away with wearing them, but I probably would take them up a little bit. But the actual wide leg, I really, really like, and I do think it's a really flattering fit, but I'm just not sure about this, this bunching at the top here. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's the bit that's a little bit, is putting me off a little bit, but, ooh, a bit of, bit of hands in the trousers. There we go. But yeah, I think the extra style is really, really nice. And like I said, if you popped a little v-neck jumper on with this, that would look really cute too. But I do think for for the price, it's not that bad. And actually, this shirt's really lovely as well. It, again, I probably would down go down a size on this because it's a bit, it's not as fit as it, a, it's not as fitted as I would like, but I do still really, really like it. Um, and I think it goes really nicely with the grey trousers as well, so that's a bonus. But yeah, not a bad outfit for work attire. It's really easy, really simple. Not as dressy, I would say, as some of the outfits I had in the beginning. This is more of kind of your general office attire. But again, it is 
on trend with all of those new themes that have come out, i.e. the wide leg trousers and just a really simple top. So yeah, not, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Considering I didn't even know if any of this stuff was gonna fit me <laughs> because I haven't really worn proper clothes since going on with Ted, oh that sounds awful doesn't it, but I haven't, I haven't really worn actual clothes, like work attire, I haven't needed to obviously, since well a year ago when I went on maternity leave, and obviously I was a lot bigger then, so the clothes I was wearing then, I'm not going to be wearing now, so yeah, I don't think for a first attempt it's that bad, but let me know in the comments down below what you think. Guys, that's all the pieces that I have to share with you today. I really hope you've enjoyed this haul. It's it's been an interesting one for me. Like I say, going back to work after having a year off and not really knowing what's going to suit me, what's not going to suit me. It's been really lovely to do this haul with you and try all of these outfits out. Don't forget to pop in the comments down below which one is your favourite outfit and if you liked any of them today. As I said, I will put all of the links for each of these items into the description box below for you as well, just so you can go and have a look yourself. But it's been really lovely spending the day with you, trying on all of these outfits that, some of which are out of my comfort zone, some of which, let's be honest, didn't work out how I'd hoped but that's what happens with style I just like to put some really easy simple pieces together for you with some on style trends and items that you would have in your house every single day that you would wear every single day just to make life a little bit easier because if you're like me I don't really have time to sit and think about every single outfit all the days if I've got staples that I can just go back to every now and again, I know that my black pointed shoes are going to be there, I know that my black handbag is going to be there, I just know that it's easy to put them together with an outfit and it's going to look really nice and stylish without making too much of an effort. <laughs> that's my look, that's what I go for, but I really hope you've enjoyed this haul. And if you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to press that subscribe button so that I can continue to grow this amazing community. But for now, I hope you have the most amazing day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.